Have you got some short flowers in your garden that you'd love to display, but you don't have a short enough vase to do it? I'm gonna show you a technique that I learned in Thailand called flower floating. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's The Thoughtful Gardener. I wanted to show you a technique that I learned several years ago when I was traveling in Thailand. I stayed at the beautiful Four Seasons Resort in Chiang Mai on points. You might recognize this resort because if you watched the movie Eat, Pray, Love with Julia Roberts, the house she stays in is a rice pavilion at this beautiful setting. But I was super excited when I saw the florist had laid out all these gorgeous bowls of fresh flowers. And I asked if I could join her the following morning to actually display the flowers and learn this technique. So I'm gonna teach it to you. One of the challenges of growing dahlias, which I absolutely love to do this time of year, is sometimes they get multi-stemmed and they're very, very short. And so they're extremely hard to display in a vase for fear of cutting off the other buds. So I love this technique this time of year when I've got all this gorgeousness in the garden but maybe not the most ideal conditions. In my case, I also have a rabbit that is, for whatever reason, eating the stems of the flowers, but leaving the flowers themselves alone. So he's doing a little trimming for me. So I've got some flowers here that we're gonna repurpose. But the first thing you wanna do is gather up your flowers first thing in the morning. And the reason for that, and the reason they did that at the resort, is that's when the flower has the majority of the water in it, and it'll stay fresher longer. This goes for all cut flowers. Cut them first thing in the morning. It's uh, going to ensure that they stay fresher longer. The second thing I've done is got a really deep container here. Uh, you see these a lot at Indian weddings. These will be right by the door and you walk by and it's just a really beautiful way to display flowers and also do some floral art. But I use a product called Super Thrive. Now I love this because it's sea kelp and you just put a tiny little capful in the water here, super concentrated, so it's really great for cut flowers. I use it as well sometimes to water plants, especially potted plants, uh, and have found that it works really, really well. So I'm gonna put this together for you. We'll fast forward through this process, but essentially you want a lot of the same flowers. So if you've got a lot of things blooming, this is gonna work out well for you. So here we go. here I think it looks really really pretty I think that there are a couple things that I want to say if you're having trouble floating the flowers you could definitely put down a leaf first something like a elderberry leaf that's very ferny uh, an asparagus fern would look really pretty here as well as a variegated hosta leaf would also look great uh, if you're having trouble seeing the darker flowers this could be a nice way to set it off is to lay it on top of something that's a bit lighter uh, the other thing that you can do is you can use some of these smaller flowers to fill in tiny holes, but also that can help support some of the smaller flowers that might otherwise uh, fall. So that is what I've done here is I've put them in between the holes in the flowers. And uh, it's just a really fun way to get some really beautiful color in your home. And it's a conversation piece when people walk by it. So I hope that you will try this technique with some of your summer flowers. Take some pictures and put them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you've created. Garden thoughtfully and take care.